Hey guys, it's Dylan with Late Season Hunter and we are at the range. And so today I actually want to talk about this bag. This is my new range day bag. And this has everything that I need for when I'm at the range or when I'm practicing. So let's actually talk about this bag. Hey guys, so as you saw from the beginning part of this video, we are talking about my range day bag. This is a Vortex glass pack. Uh, I got this for like 30 bucks and this has become kind of my, my staple of what I bring to the range that's not like, you know, like your bow or your release or things like that. This is what I want to have whenever I go out to practice shooting. Uh, just because like, I know when I go out places and I'm just like, oh man, it would be really nice to know, is this range the correct? Is this, you know, or if that target that I just shot out, you know, where did I hit? You know, having binoculars is really helpful. Or even just basically having some uh, other little things to go along with it. Uh, you know, like having like a little wrench so you need to adjust either the pound of your bow or adjust your sight. There's so many little things that I think you should have, but this pack is kind of what I need to have whenever I go to the range. Uh, if I could suggest one thing outside of it, I would definitely get like a little quiver for your arrows because not every single range has a place for you to put your arrows. So just having a little side quiver uh, is super convenient to have. It's just a little Easton two tube, uh, quiver i think i got it for like 12 dollars, but that's just a little side thing to have but yeah so let's talk about why i got this bag and i'm considering this to be my range day bag first off there's it's just so small you know it's very compact it's not super bulky so if i just want to go to the range or if i want to go and just shoot a little bit uh it's nice just to have a harness that you know it's not super bulky but it can hold enough stuff. Uh, well, the other thing I like about it is that it has two side pockets. I had a little bino harness uh, that I ordered. It was about the same price, um, but it only had one pocket on the side. Uh, and that, that was okay, but it, I definitely like having two. It's just more uh, place for me to put stuff. But yeah, so like I said, this is the, the Vortex glass pack. Uh, super easy, uh, but let's talk about what I consider part of range day stuff. So I start on the outside. One of the first things I have is just a little arrow puller. Uh, if you're using like a 3D target or uh, if the range you're at, they just barely replaced, you know, the foam stuff. Sometimes it'd be a little bit tougher to get your arrows out. So having just a little uh, arrow puller, it's just super easy. You can get these for like six bucks. Uh, so yeah, so I just have this little kinetics uh, arrow puller. On the other side, I also have a pocket knife. Uh, this is the Leatherman Rebar. I've had this for forever. Really great knife, uh, not just for the fact of like having a knife. Uh, you never know what you're gonna need a knife for. Just, it's a good thing to have and I also love multi-tools. So this is great. Uh, but yeah, having like a knife, I feel like is a necessity, whether your arrow fletchings are coming off and, or something you just need to open up, uh, just a really good thing to have, uh, going on the other side, uh, I have, uh, a Sharpie. Uh, I think Sharpies are pretty self-explanatory of all things you can do with them. You know, writing, that's <laughs> number one, but, uh, one of the things I did, uh, I always have my masking tape for whether I need to side my bow, if I want to make a game, for while I'm at the range. Uh, masking tape is kind of like what I consider like my every go-to target because uh, I can make whatever I want to shoot. Uh, but if I don't have this roll of tape, uh, a really good thing to do is just take and grab your tape and just add some tape to this every now and again. And I just throw this in my bag and it's great. So Sharpie with some tape, gotta love it. The next thing in here, you know, with it being a binocular harness, uh, I do have some binoculars. Now, to me, it doesn't really matter what binoculars you have. My dad, he gave me these a long time ago. These are some Nikon Buckmasters. Uh, but, I mean, the size of them, it's just perfect. Uh, just in case I need to look down the range, 
uh, and see where my arrows are at or if I'm you know spotting for someone. Uh, just a really good thing to have, just some decent binoculars. Oh, I guess I have two more things over here. Uh, little wrench set, uh, really easy to have uh, in your bag. Once again, all of your bows, you have to adjust them at some point, you know, whether you need to take and tweak your, your sights, if you need to take and increase the poundage of your bow, if you're, you know, getting a little bit stronger. My new release that I just got, which I'll do a video on this, uh, it has a little set screw in here that if I want to change how much play this has, uh, I need a wrench set. And so it's really nice that this little Easton, uh, it has one that's actually the size of that, that tension screw. Uh, last thing as well on this little pocket is uh, just some bowstring wax. This one's just from Titan. I got it from Walmart, uh, but it's really easy. If I start to see that my bowstring is getting a little bit frayed, I can easily just pop it out, put a little bit on my string. Or one of the things I do so that my arrow tips don't rattle, I'll take and put a little bit of uh, this wax and put it into the grooves of the arrowhead just so it doesn't work out so easily. So that's just one of the things I've always done for a long, long time. But little little wax, wax tube, super convenient to have. Now, the last thing in here, which I feel like if you're doing archery, this is like a go-to must, uh, is having just a basic range finder. This is the Halo XL 450. Uh, I love this. Uh, it's just super small and I like with the, the combination of having both my uh, my binoculars and the rangefinder in that center pocket. It actually is the perfect size that I can keep them both in there and if I need to check to make sure that, you know, because sometimes the range will say that it's at 20 yards, it's really nice to just look and point down range and say, hey, my rangefinder, which is what I'll be hunting with, is saying that that's not quite 20 yards. So having a rangefinder and setting up your bow to your rangefinder, it's probably your best bet to have the most success. If you guys have any suggestions of things that you found to be really useful in your range bag, uh, drop a drop a comment down below because I do like seeing what other people have. Just because I'm still getting into this, I would like to know what other people are using that they're finding success with. So this is basically the video. You know, it's very short and sweet, uh, but you know, I think it's really important to talk about all of the other little ins and outs of just going to shoot and you know, what people are using to have success. Uh, this little pack, it's great because it's just easy to keep in my car. It's easy for me to uh, take around the place and not really feel like I'm carrying a ton of stuff. Like I can carry this all day, not really feel like it's a burden, but it also has, you know, if I want to do 3D targets or if I want to, you know, go out to 60 yards, am I at 60 yards? I can just quickly take and use this bag as my range day shooting. Like I could always take and add more stuff. I could add you know, different types of markers. I could add more, like I could add golf tees in case where I'm at, uh, doesn't have tees to put up my target. This bag alone is just definitely must things I should have, you know, even like if I'm going to be recording, you know, if I don't have like this little string that I typically can have, the nice thing is I can just take and clip it and no time at all, I have a place to put my little microphone. So just handy that that's what that's what this bag is for it's supposed to be something that i can just take grab go shoot be done but yeah other things i recommend that if you are going to the range like i said is just a little quiver i always think it's a good idea to have a little bit of tape but yeah also maybe like an extra release just in case because i know i've forgotten uh releases but yeah, that's basically it. So uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe. This is just a channel of me learning how to hunt and my journey in learning how to bow hunt as well. So if you want to stay updated on what I'm doing, subscribing is the easiest way. You can follow me 
Instagram at late season hunter, TikTok late season hunter, Facebook, there's late season hunter page. Uh, yeah. And all that will be down below. I'm also going to start putting in, uh, different links to gear. Uh, I actually big, big news for me, I guess. Uh, hopefully, uh, I got accepted into the Cabela's affiliate program. So, uh, if I do have any of the stuff that I've talked about, like some of the things that I'll start putting in is like my fletching or my arrow making stuff. Uh, there'll be links down to certain stuff. If I can hopefully keep getting more subscribers, hopefully I can get more links to different things so that it will just help this page go along so I can continue to do this and continue just to grow my channel and get more experience and more knowledge. And hopefully as the hunting season comes around, it will just help me. But I'm really excited that Cabela has actually let me onto their affiliate program. So yeah, cool, cool stuff's happening. So yeah. But guys, that is this video. Thank you so much. This is Dylan with Late Season Hunter, and I hope to see you guys next week. Okay, talk to you later. Bye, guys.